Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm doing the second of my very quick reviews. I've done one on the L'Oreal Eye Primer Pencil and this is another similar product except for it's for under the eye and other areas. So it's the Max Factor CC Color Corrector Pencil, I guess it doesn't say on it. This one is for correcting dark spots and it is in pink. There are five of these pencils and they are available in Boots and Superdrug. I've seen them in both places. I only bought the pink one, but I might go and buy the yellow one as well. They all have a different kind of um, benefit. They all have a different benefit. And I've got the website here. I've got the Boots website so up. So like I said, there's five different colors, but there's four colors with benefits. And then there's one that is just a highlighter. And I have swatched all five of the pencils and the highlighter for me that I swatched had barely any pigmentation. So at this point, I would not recommend getting the highlighter. I think you could use the yellow pencil as a highlighter. You could use this pink one as a highlighter, depending what color you wanted and what kind of highlighting you wanted to do. But I would not recommend that highlighter pencil. It's really bizarre because the rest of them have great pigmentation, but that one just had none at all. I was literally like pressing it really hard and getting nothing at all. So I'll show you this one. I'll try and do quite a big swatch so you can see the color. Um, it's hard to see it actually against my skin tone. It's right there um, and it's a beautiful pink color. So each color has a different benefit. So this one is pink and this one is to correct dark spots on light skin tones. Um, what does it say? It's called the balancer. Um, pink stick evens out dark spots. Use it to precisely target the area you'd like to correct. Gently blend on your skin and repeat, then apply your foundation or CC cream. So where I've used this, I've used it today, I have used it under my eyes. Now, under my eyes, it is too bright to use on its own. Um, so what I did was I just swiped a couple of bits under my eyes and then put my Maybelline Age Rewind eraser over the top so I can seal it over the top. This is not the one specifically for dark under eye circles um, but I think that this would certainly cover dark spots I can see how it would cover any age spots because it is very pigmented I've got anything that I could show you to cover like, let's have a look on can you see that blue vein there in the middle if I put it across that blue vein you can see it kind of blanks it out so that is the idea that it covers up blue but like I said I haven't got any um, dark circles under my eyes so I used it as a highlighter I used it on my brow bone. I didn't use it on my brow bone today, actually. I used it on my brow bone yesterday, but I put a bit on so you can see. And it's really nice for that. I used it on my Cupid's bow. So I'm using this one as a highlighter as opposed to its intended purpose of covering dark spots, etc. So you can put a little bit here on your Cupid's bow. And you know, you could put a little bit down your nose. You could put a little bit. I did a little bit in this triangle here when I did my makeup a few days ago. Really good. Now, let me just go through the other colours and then I'll tell you what I think of the it. The next colour is green and that one is called the Reducer. This one is to neutralise redness such as blemishes, blotchiness and broken veins. Use the stick to precisely... Everyone says that. Use the stick to precisely, precisely target the area you'd like. So the green stick is not one that I would... Not one that I would recommend. It's not that I wouldn't recommend, but I have tried in the past to use green coloured corrector creams. I don't know whether you remember, but Rimmel used to have one. They may well still do it, but I, I did buy that once and try to use it. But you need to use that and then a concealer on top, which is fine under the eyes, but for little blemishes, it didn't really work for me because I felt like there was then too much product. So I don't know how useful that would be. I have never found a green correcting cream any use personally. But if you're somebody that likes green, color correcting cream then you might enjoy it because the format of it is very easy to use with it being in a pencil and um, the next one is yellow and this is the one I think that will probably appeal to most people it says that neutralizes purple tones such as under eye circles um, and again use it to precisely target so this is the one that like I said I think most people will be interested for your under eye circles and I'm going to buy it um, just because I like to sometimes highlight with pink and sometimes highlight with yellow. So I'm going to buy that one. And I think that will be really easy to just, again, do a swipe down your nose, you know, swipes on here, like wherever you want to highlight. But I also think it will be really good as a dark circle concealer. I don't know how it will wear through the day. Certainly this as a brightener has worn fantastically through the day. I've worn it for about three days. And at the end of the day, I can still see that brightening under my eyes. So I don't know whether that would last all day though as a concealer that's something that I can't really test out because they don't have the dark circles like I say and then the final one is a lilac stick which is to counteract sallow and yellow areas um, banishing dullness but I can't really see where you would use this so I'm a bit kind of stumped on that with the lilac one but the funny thing about that is I have got 
the MAC Prep and Prime CC powder, the pressed powder, and they have the same four colours for the same four purposes. And I actually have the lilac powder from MAC and I love it. But I use that all over my face as a brightener because it's for dull and sallow skin. So I'm not sure where you would use a pencil, a lilac pencil, on dull and sallow skin unless you wanted to draw a few stripes on and kind of blend it in under your foundation, which I guess you could do. So that's the colours, green for redness, purple for sallowness and dullness, yellow for dark under eye circles, and pink for dark spots. And then you've got the highlighter pencil, which I don't recommend. The price of this is £9.99, and it is one of these turn-up sticks. So it's very easy to turn it, and you actually get quite a lot of product, I think. Now, I'm not sure how long that's gonna last me, but I, I can tell you that it's been in my makeup bag for the last, however long I've had it, three or four days. More than that, I think I've had it about a week, and. I, I don't want to take it out, I want to use it every day because I really like that effect. If you've watched me doing tutorials, you'll have seen me, I normally use something like the MAC NC15 Pro Longwear Concealer and it's too light for me. And I've always wanted that kind of highlighted bright eyes without it being too stark and I think this is just exactly what I wanted and then I can put my concealer on top. The only thing is it's a two step process then which is a bit annoying but I feel like it's worth it for what it does. So I'm really enjoying this one. Like I said, I'm gonna buy the yellow one. The application is where there's a bit of a problem. When I first put it on, I had very, very dry patches here from kind of my skin and my under eye being dry because I'm using a lot of retinol and retinoid products at the moment. So when I first put it on, it did kind of, it didn't cling to the dry patches but and you couldn't see them more but because I had dry patches this wasn't great because it's very pigmented in that you don't have to press hard if you see that's me pressing very very softly and there's a lot of pigmentation there but to blend it in it's quite firm it's not very very liquidy when it's on actually you'll probably see it better with that one there you do have to kind of move your skin around a little bit. So there is a tiny bit of pull when you put it on. So like I said, you can draw it on fine and it's it probably better to use a brush actually and I haven't done that, I've just been using my finger, but it's not very liquidy. It is like a firm cream that you've put on. So you really need to work to blend it in. And what I found I was doing was actually putting it on and using the concealer um, brush of the Maybelline Age Rewind to blend it in more because that's a very soft kind of spongy yeah. top. But other than that, I'm really impressed. I think it's a great quick way of doing it. I haven't seen anything else like this, I don't think. Um, there may be something else out there that I've missed. 9.99 is not a bad price for it. I think that's fine for a Max Factor product, but I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, I don't think there's much else to tell you. If I've missed anything, then let me know, of course. Let me know if you've seen these in the shops, if you've bought any of the colours. Um, you know, if you've bought the green one and it's been useful for you or any of the colours, then please do stick it in the comments below because obviously everybody reads the comments and then we can all kind of benefit from that knowledge. I guess the downside at the moment is that you won't be able to get it in the USA just now. But CoverGirl is the kind of sister company of Max Factor, so hopefully they'll be coming out with something like that soon for you guys. So um, thank you very much for watching today, and I'll see you again in my next video.